Giulio Levi Civista was born on March 29, in 1873 in Padua, Italy. He was an Italian mathematician known for his work on absolute differential calculus, which we also call tensor calculus. He has worked with Gregorio Ricci Cabastro, with whom he invented the absolute differential calculus. He has also done work in other domains such as analytic mechanics and hydrodynamics. He has graduated from Padua's University in 1892 and obtained a teaching diploma from Pavia Faculty of Science Teacher College. After obtaining these two diplomas, he has married one of his students, Libera Trevisani. In 1918, he was named to the Chair of Higher Analysis at the University of Rome and, two years later, he was appointed to the Chair of Mechanics in that same university. He has published, in 1900, La Théorie des Tenseurs dans les méthodes de calcul différentiel et leur application, with Richard Cabastro. The were were used by Einstein for the understanding of tensor calculus, which he needed to expand his general relativity theory. Levi Civista's book is still used and remains one of the classical texts translated in many languages. Corresponded with Einstein between the years 1915 and 1917, with whom he exchanged problems about the gravitational field. He has also contributed to Dirac's equation in quantum mechanics. The Vita moved to Princeton to live with Einstein in order to expand their work. But when the risk of war in Europe rose again, he returned to his original country in Italy. The race law adopted by the Italian government in 1938 obliged him to renounce to his function, removing his right to teach and his memberships of all scientific societies because of its Jewish status. In 1941, after having renounced to his function, he died from a stroke in his apartment in Rome. When asked what he liked best about Italy, Einstein has responded spaghetti and levi civita. Since classical vectors were proper to domains such as physics and mechanics, Mathematician discovered that in certain physics areas, variables could not transpose into one column victim, vector. That is the case for variables coming from continuum mechanics, fluid or solid, electromagnetism, and relativity. At the end of the 19th century, after the analysis of certain force, forces leading to a nine number vector characterizing force, forces or voltage, Mathematician had to invent a new geometric object. Therefore, tensors were created. Tensors are mathematical objects generalizing the concept of vectors and matrices. They were introduced in physics to represent the state of stress and the formation of a volume subjected to forces, hence their name. Tensors have as an advantage to be able to be free of coordinate system, which make the development invariant. It is use useful in relativity since it reduces calculations. A tensor is defined as a mathematical entity with components that change in a particular way in transformation from one, from one coordinate system to another. It can be seen as a table of numbers or algebraic symbols used in the tensor calculus. Tensors are geometric objects that describe linear relations between vectors, scalars, and other tensions. Vectors and scalars are considered tensors. Examples of linear relation would include the dot product, the cross product, and linear maps. The order of a tensor is the number of dimension a table has. For example, a 2x2 matrix will be a second order tensor, a vector which is a 1 by n matrix will be a first order tensor, and a scalar would be a zero order tensor. Tensors are used to represent correspondence between sets of geometric vectors, it can be represented as a matrix of numerical values. Tensors are linked to algebra by the fact that they are a new kind of vector, as well as being a new geometric object interacting with vectors and scalars.